Now we'll take a look at the Data Manager. You will find it in the Home tab of the ribbon in the Project panel. The Data Manager is a separate window which you can dock or place wherever you like. It's convenient to dock it at the bottom of the screen just above the command line. However, for this video, with its limited screen area, we're going to keep the Data Manager window floating. As its name suggests, the Data Manager lets you view and edit all the data in your drawing or project. In this chapter, I will show you how you can select different views of your data, manipulate the columns and cells as you would a spreadsheet, and export the data to Excel, make some changes, and import it back into Data Manager. By default, the tree view in the left pane shows the drawing data, organized by area, and then by object type. You can change the display to show all data for the project by selecting the Plant 3D Project Data option from the drop-down list. As you can see, this project has two areas, Area 30 and Area 62. We are going to look at the piping data for Area 30 of this project. The data is grouped by object type. For piping components, the objects are organized by line number. By clicking a line number in the tree, you can see the details about the fittings that comprise that line number in the data view on the right. We can easily find and click on another line number in a different area. Here we will click on line number 202 in area 62 to see the components in that line. The data view is like an Excel spreadsheet. You can resize columns, rearrange them, sort them, filter them, and so on. You can modify data here in the Data Manager. Of course, you could also change it in the AutoCAD Properties Palette. Which tool you use depends on how many changes you want to make. The Properties Palette is better for changing data for a few components, where the Data Manager is better if you want to view and edit for many components. Say we want to update the material code for a few components. First, we'll find the material code column and widen it. Clicking on the column header, the material code will sort. Now we will select the value we want to change and type in our new value. Once we've updated one cell, we can copy and paste this value into other cells. One paste action is all that is needed to update all the selected cells. Of course you cannot edit all cells. The cells with the white backgrounds are the ones that are fully editable. Cells with a gray background, such as size, are read-only and cannot be edited. Now we'll export the project data to Excel for further editing. You do this by clicking the Export on the Data Manager toolbar. This will allow us to save our file on our machine, in this case the desktop, and then open it in Excel for further editing. The worksheet we get in Excel is identical to the one we had in Data Manager. Any fields that were read-only in Data Manager are also read-only in this Excel sheet. When you try to change one of these read-only cells, Excel will give you a message that the field is read-only. All of the locked cells are read-only. Of course, any field that is not locked, you can enter values in, cut, copy, paste, just like you would any other Excel document. Here I copy an existing material code into some blank fields. I will now update the Schedule 40 ratings to that of Schedule 80. I'm going to unprotect the sheet first so that I can sort and filter the data. You must be careful when you unprotect sheets that you do not change any values that are not updatable. Using standard Excel functionality, I sort the schedule so that the rows that have schedule value of 40 are at the top. Now I will change the value of 40 to 80 for the first row and copy this value across the remaining rows. Now that I'm done my updates, I will close and save Excel and return to AutoCAD Plant 3D. I will select the Import button from my Data Manager toolbar to import the values I changed in Excel back into the plant project. Selecting my spreadsheet and opening it will start this import. Data Manager does not automatically change your data 
when you do this import. Instead, it highlights the values that have proposed pending changes. From inside AutoCAD Plant 3D, I can decide if I want to accept or reject each change. Hovering over one of these yellow cells, I can see the previous value before the import. If I want to change the value to this new proposed value, I click on the cell and pick Accept. If I want to accept all the proposed changes, I use the Accept All button. There are also Reject and Reject All buttons available. I hope you've enjoyed this brief introduction to Data Manager. As you can see, it is an easy yet powerful way of interacting with your project data in a spreadsheet-like environment. There are a number of ways you can customize the data viewed in Data Manager. These will be covered in a later video.